Hello, and today we will talk about Google Docs. Now, the great news is, if you already know how to use Microsoft Word, then Google Docs will be a piece of cake. And if you're not familiar with Microsoft Word, not a problem, because Google Docs is pretty user friendly. Now, there's two great advantages to Google Docs. First, it's free. Pretty good one, right? Secondly, your documents and files will automatically be saved to Google Drive. So no more worrying about where you put that USB drive. Now, most people access Google Docs from Google Drive. Google Drive is a place on the internet that allows you to save, store, organize all of your files and documents. If you already have a Gmail account, you have free access to both Google Drive and Google Docs. If you do not have a Gmail account, simply go online, gmail.com, and click on Create an Account. Now, to access Google Docs, you have to go to Google Drive. So launch a web browser, such as Google Chrome. Type drive.google.com into the address bar. If you are using a smart device, you'll have to first download the app from your app store, but then once you have it on your phone, simply tap the icon. Now, once you're in Google Drive, you want to click on New to get to a Google Doc. If you're on a smart device, look for the plus sign at the bottom right-hand corner. Then from the drop-down list menu, click on Google Docs. From your smart device, look for the pencil icon and tap it. Now, once you're in your Google Doc, you should start seeing some parts that look similar to Microsoft Word. I'm going to highlight our top section right here, and you'll see that on your smart device, it'll have some of the same buttons, but look a little bit different. First, I want to point out what we would call the title bar in Microsoft Word. This is your opportunity to name or rename your document or file. Underneath the title bar, just like we have in Microsoft Word, we have the menu bar, which will allow you to download your document to a desktop, make changes, edit, format. Then underneath that menu bar, again, like in Microsoft Word, we have our ribbon, a lot of buttons that allow you to format your text to make it look more attractive. Now let's go back to that title bar. That title bar, as I mentioned earlier, will give you a chance to name your document. So look for Untitled Document on your Google Doc. Once you click on it, it'll be highlighted. Then simply type the name you want. In this case, I'm going to name it Lopez ESLN 310E paragraph number four. So clearly this is for a school assignment. Be sure to check with a professor or instructor on exactly how they want that title to be, that name be, of your document to be formatted. And from a smart device, it'll look very similar. Now, once you have your title, we're ready to type. So look for the cursor. This will be the same on your smart device. And since this is a school assignment, we typically start with a heading. This heading is using MLA formatting. And you would just start typing just like you would in Microsoft Word. Now note, there's a little squiggly line under ESLN. Google Docs is saying there might be some sort of spelling or grammatical error. In a future video, we'll talk more about how to use the spell check in Google Docs. Now, the great news is, as I mentioned earlier, all changes that you make as you make them will be automatically saved in Google Drive. So you don't have to worry about saving every few minutes. It'll save for you. Now, if we can go back to that ribbon, I want to point out a couple of buttons that you might be interested in. First of all, your font type. Secondly, font size. Remember for school MLA formatted documents or APA documents, 
we're going to be using typically 12 point times New Roman. We also have the ability to bold, italicize, and underline. And to align our text, we typically align left in MLA. And we also have line spacing, which we typically use 2.0. There'll be a future video on how to use each of these buttons and more in Google Docs. So thank you so much for your time. If you liked our video, please click on like and please subscribe. Thank you.